Hi again, uh, here we are to talk about um, CSS and styles and here I am on my Pinterest board. I have a Pinterest board called CSS Layout Challenges and what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to start a Pinterest site or Pinterest board, like make your own Pinterest, log in with Pinterest, make a new board and search Pinterest and you can search for, you know, um, web design or Or, you know, maybe you could search for uh, iOS design, right? And Pinterest will show you, you know, a bunch of stuff, you know, just pictures that people have posted. And you can add these to your board. So, for example, if I like this one, I can click Save. And I can save it to my CSS Layout Challenges board, right? Maybe I'll go back to the web design board and then I'll look in here and maybe I like this one right here so I'll save it and what you're looking for is you're looking for you know don't look for, just look for anything that you like and pin it that's cool but what I really want you to look for is look for things that have um, layouts that you think that you can recreate with CSS okay so using float um, you know, look for layouts here that you think you can recreate. So, for example, this one looks like it's done in three columns with sort of a heading that has maybe two columns in it, right? So, I think that you guys could probably create this layout. That doesn't look too tough, right? Um, maybe these layouts here you could probably recreate, right? Because this would be, you know, <clears throat> this would go the full width and then you'd have three columns here, right? And another another row that went the full width, right? You know, this doesn't look too tough, so each one of these boxes here is really just divided into two areas, and then the text is just kind of sitting in the middle, right? So you can see, like, this is, like, maybe a box. You can't see the outline, but maybe it's like that, and then here's another one, right? So what you want to do is you want to search through the Internet and create a collection of all the elements you can find here where you think you can recreate that with CSS. This would be a really good one. I think you guys could all do this with some thought, okay? This looks like a really good one. I'm even going to save that one, I think, right? Let's take a look at this one a little closer, right? So imagine this one, right? So imagine every time you have a, a row that goes all the way across, right? Like that could be one row with a clear fix and then in here you could have one box that was maybe you know 30 percent of the width and then another box here that was you know maybe I don't know 40 percent I don't know 50 percent right um, and then another box here that was the other 20 percent and then this box would actually have to have another row in it and another row so you'd have to make one row here that contains a box, another box that was also a row, right? And then inside there, you'd make two, three more, right? Anyway, try it out, okay? So, so save a bunch of designs, find some ones that you like, and then pick three of them. Don't pick the toughest one. Like, don't start with this one, right? That would be pretty hard, okay? Or if you want to start with this one, maybe just start with this top row. See if you can create this layout. Okay, and if you can do that, then try doing it again in the same page, and then you'd have this whole thing done, right? So pick out three designs that you like, you know, just something simple, even something like this. Like, that would be an easy one, right? I practically did that one. You know, you just need to replace this with pictures, and then maybe you, you see every six of these, the background color changes subtly, right? So, you know, I think that you could recreate this, um, a lot of these, right? So give it a try, okay? So that's, that's your challenge for right now. Okay, so thanks for watching and good luck.